Hey guys, Richard back with Nexacore again. I'm gonna show you my updated blaster deck profile with the updated version of the Aichi Legend deck. So let's just get right into it. We're gonna start off with uh, Wingo Brave because you know the Barkle starter is really not that great. So <clears throat> Wingo Grave is basically your plus engine. If it hits when you're boosting, when it boosts a blaster, you put in the soul and search another blaster. So this is what's going to be searching for Blaster Blade Exceed and could also search out uh, Bar uh, Blaster Friend Barkle or uh, Blaster Blade Spirit for a 10k vanilla ride. So it's just really, really good and it's free if it hits. So yeah, great starter. On to the Grade 3s. We're running four copies of uh, Blaster Blade Exceed. So Blaster Blade X for we finally have a good Blaster Grade 3 that's not... MLB, or we finally have another blaster at grade 3 that's not MLB. So, Blaster Blade Exceed is, uh, he has his on place skill and he's placed on the van or rear guard circle, just basically anywhere that's not guard circle. You can have last one. Uh, choose when your opponent's grade 1 or uh, higher units and retire it so it doesn't snipe uh, starters anymore, like the grade 2 dead. And then, um, or the on vanguard circle is what I mean for original Blaster Blade. And uh, Blaster Blade Exceed's stride skill is when you stride, if you stride a G unit with Saber in its original name, you can kind of blast one, search your deck for a cover Blaster Blade. So you're, you're most likely going to be searching this for a more grade 3 fodder, especially since you want to keep all the grade 2 blasters in your deck. Because, you know, Lou is a thing, and Lou is great. So, yeah. And finally, for grade 3s, I'm only running two copies of uh, Light Source Seeker Alfred Exiv. The reason I'm running Alfred Exiv at all in this deck, because I know people will either run Alfred of, or they'll just stick with the four blaster blades. And uh, the only other reason why I'm running Exceed is because, I mean Exiv, is because, uh, one, he's an Alfred name. And a lot of the things like uh, Marin and Starhope, they require Alfred heart. And also... Uh, my Myriad, Soul Saver, and the Alfred G unit, they require Alfred Hearts. So if for some odd reason I can't ride Blaster Blade Exceed, this is still at least I can get skills off with the Alfred Heart and Vanguard name. Uh, other reason I'm running Alfred is because I want to have more grade 3s so I can stride fodder. Uh, I don't like Oath Alfred at all because you don't run any Sanctuary of Light cards in this deck. And I feel like Alfred Oath is more of a Sanctuary of Light focused deck entirely. And also the fact that I have to, with Oath, I have to Soul Blast 1 and Counter Blast 1 means I can't go First Stride Myriad, which is what I do most of the time for the uh, for the skills. But you can also go into uh, Legit Sword, but it's like the only things you're really going to be calling out are Blasters, which is Blaster Blade, Blaster Spirit, and Bark Goal. And if you're just going to be calling out three Blasters, you're just calling out Blaster Blade, Grade 2s, and Bark Goal. And that's kind of a meh set up really so it's like i mean you can call out early stuff but i feel like it's not really going to make that big of a difference if i just have exiv also most important thing why i'm running exiv i don't want to spend money on alfred oaths when i'm just going to replace this card with lou when set 11 drops so why bother running alfred exiv not for because i don't run seekers so the bottom skill is useless his legion skills if you have five regards he gains uh, a crit and he can legion with the original blaster blade, so I can legion. It's it gets a thing that can happen, so it's really there for the Alfred name and to have extra grade threes in the deck. So now starting off with uh, grade twos, I'm running uh, three copies of um, favorite pupil of light and darkness. Lou, I would have four, honestly, if uh, basically I got these uh, I got these Lou's off Gabe, and he only had three. And I was trying to get my fourth off Atlas, but Atlas sold all of his for probably like three bucks or like five bucks a piece. So, yeah, I didn't get my fourth Lou because Atlas sold all his copies. But three is probably going to be just fine. I mean, I won't be able to do as, as many plays as I want to, but I'm stuck with three. So, yeah. Uh, Lou's skill is great. It's a, honestly, you need, if you're running the blaster deck, you should be running Lou. Lou's skill is when he's boosted by Floral Paladin, Flogel, or Blaster Friend Barkle. 
he gains 3k, and at the end of the battle that he attacked, you can count Blast 1, uh, move him to the soul, and search for a grade 2 with Blaster in its name. So, this is great because it's not GB restricted at all, and with Blaster from Barkle, he's hitting for 19, so that's a, that's a magic number against your opponent's grade 2 if they're at a 9k base as well. And it just makes, it gives you an extra attack. It's really good, and then with Floral Palette and Flow, you're just making the Blaster Blade you call out have more attack. So everyone should know what this card is. It's really great. Since we're running a Blaster deck, we should be running copies of Blaster Blade. So next, I'm running three copies of Blaster Blade Spirit. Uh, this is a great card because one, it's a 10k vanilla with a skill, and vanillas are always great. Uh, He's, his other skills, when he's called from the deck, you can count blast one and retire your opponent's front row, grade two or higher unit. So this is just a great card to run, and it's a great ride target, because if you boost it with with uh, wing goal, you're most likely going to hit, and you have the 10k defense. Other thing I really like about running is a lot of spirits is that I run Aerial Divine at Alt Mile, and uh, Divine, Aerial, Alt Mile gives your front row 3k, and... Uh, favorite pupil, uh, Lou, when he calls out a blaster, he gets 3k. So you call out, if you are on air of Divine Knight, and you call Lou, and you use Lou's skill, it gets 3k from Lou and 3k from Omo. So this is hitting at 16 by itself. So if you're trying to push for game, that that can be cool. And if you're not trying to lose lose hand and you just want to call out Lou with Alt Mile, that's a, this is a good target for that turn with Alt Mile. But, I mean, you can't use Floor Paladin with it, but it's okay if you don't. That's an option. It's not too terrible. And yeah, I, it's, I just want to run more blasters because more targets. Uh, goes well with uh, with uh, Wingo Brave, and it's a target that you can use for uh, Alfred Saver as well. Because so, Alfred Saver targets any blaster blade, not a specific one. Uh, I'm going to go into this before I go into blaster blade. So just two copies of Star Trumpeter. This card is really not that great because... Uh, for one, I'd probably take one out for an extra Lou if I could. The only reason I'm running it is because I do like the, the plus one that it gives where you kind of blast, call any card in the from the deck and give it 3k. So this has been really helpful if I want to actually have uh, Flogel on the field, but I don't have it in my hand, so I can just call this, kind of blast, call it Flogel, so I can give my Blaster Blade an extra attack for the turn. This is also helpful for calling out uh, Barkle or Blaster Blade if I want to call make sure I get it out. It's just, you, you, you get an extra unit. It's fine. Only problem I don't like with it, it has to be called from hand. I mean, that, that kind of makes sense because it'd be really busted if you could just call it from the deck and still get your plus one because then this would just be played at a max of like three to four if it could. But uh, yeah, it's just GB1 on place, kind of blast one from hand. If you plays it from hand, kind of blast ones. If you have a blaster or Alfred Hart or Vanguard, you can search for any card, any card in your deck you want and give it 3k. And last but not least, the main focus of the entire deck, four copies of Blaster Blade himself. This card is as old as it gets. We got a new print of him in the Legend deck. He's got this kind of SP uh, boxless text, but he's got the same foiling as every other card in the Legend deck. But at least they got the right art. Proud of you, Bushy. Um, only thing I can really say is that Blaster Blade's great. You unflip with... with Bark goal, it's the only target you can use with flow goal, it gets you extra attacks. It's called the blaster engine because of blaster blade. Alright, we're done with the grade twos, on to the grade ones. We're running four copies of Blaster Frame Bark goal because this is basically the Doreen clone for Avengers and Blaster Dark with a Doreen and Blaster Dark Avenger. So if you have a Blaster Vanguard and you place uh, Blaster Blade, you can unflip. And uh, this the main the more important thing is that this is the booster for Lou, yeah, so you can call out Blaster Blade with the skill. Um, before with the Saint Guard build that people were doing, people were running this, but they weren't able to get the unflip. But now that we have Blaster Blade Exceed, we can actually unflip as well. So that means more plays to do for the turn. Uh, and yeah, you should probably be running four Blaster Friend Barkle if you want to plan to build this deck. It's really good. Oh, and it's a blaster too. So you know if you ride it and you attack and you attack with Wingle, you can proc off Wingle's skill, because that's great. You know, grade one blaster. It's the best thing that ever happened to this deck. All right, next up, we're gonna start getting into some new cards. More. Uh, I'm running four copies of uh, Wingle Youth. Originally, I was planning on running uh, 
I was originally going to run the Stride Fodder with, you know, Laurel Knight Sisalus, the alt mile Stride Fodder. Uh, yeah, it was a the good idea was that, yeah, I can have a Stride Fodder so I can stride more. Yeah. But, um, Wingle Youth actually turned out to be a really great card. Just the fact that he's on when he boosts or attacks, if the attack hits, you can look at the top seven. And if you find a blast card with blast with it, then you add it to hand. And if you do add it to hand, you boom to soul. So it's like, if you're going early game and you go the first turn, you can call this out and attack, poke your opponent for seven. If it hits, it's skill procs. And then you can search your top seven, find blast. You could probably find blaster blade exceed. So there's your grade three target or find a blaster blade grade two. There's your grade two ride and then add it to hand. So what I like about this is if you're grade stuck and you're like, oh shoot, I need my grade three or I need my uh, blaster blade grade two. You can call this out and uh, hope it hits. Other thing you can do is because it's when it hits or boosts, you can make a column of it. So like you first turn, if you have two card, two of this in your hand, you make a column, attack 14, then be like, oh shoot, I might not want to lose my 10k shield or I don't have a 10k shield, I have to take it. They both go off. So you can use one, search top seven, oh, blaster blade, cool, move to soul. Use the other one. Oh, look, blaster blade, move to soul. So now you just got two extra cards that you're probably going to be using for riding or striding and yeah, you just got them based and you got them for a hit. And even if the even if you don't search and you don't find Blaster Blade in the top seven, the start the card still stays. So that's just great. So instead of running Stride Fodder, I'm running Winkle Youth and I'm maximizing it out so I could see it more often. Next up for the grade ones, I'm running uh, three copies of uh, Little Tactician Marin. Since we're only running six grade threes, we have a lot of room for the grade twos and grade ones. Uh, Marin has the exact same skill as uh, as Star Hope Trumpeter. It's literally word for word the same skill. It's when it's placed from when it's placed from hand onto this uh, rear guard circle. You can GB one counter blast one. Search any card in your if you have an Alfred or Blaster Heart. Yeah, blah blah. Search for any card in your deck. Give it three K. It's a nice plus one. And it's Marin. You know we gotta we gotta keep Aichi aesthetic in here. We gotta ride little tactician Marin on our first ride. Um. Yeah, but more importantly, it's like a plus one. We unflip pretty decently in this deck, not as amazingly as like I'd prefer, or as like Gold Paladin does, but uh, the unflip is pretty decent in this deck, so you can actually make plays and put this down. You accumulate hand pretty decently as well, so you, you'll probably run into this a lot, especially and Star Hope as well. It's a nice plus one, you know? Why not? Simple. Also, this deck's probably, we don't really know what else is coming out in set 11 as of right now that I'm recording this video. So, uh, yeah, that's the best bet that I can go with for now until the deck gets updated. Last but not least, the Legend deck was smart enough to give us actually good perfect guard because, yeah, like with the last two, we just took out the Skull Witch PG and the Aramo PG for the unflippy one. So they decided, hey, let's just give them a PG that unflips damage. So, yeah, Epona became a great card. It's a bringer of divine gui grace. I was gonna say guidance, grace, epona. It's exactly like a uh, holy knight guardian. Literally, it's the exact same skill. When it's placed on guard circle, uh, from hand, pick your vanguard and discard a card from hand. Perfect, perfect guard. Uh, if you have a copy of itself in the drop, unflip. We super cheap PG. It's great. Now people can real build royals for super cheap. On to our grade zeros. We have to run four copies of the better Flogel because they gave us Flogel in the Legend deck, but this one's better. Uh, Floral Paladin Flogel, not GB1 restricted, so it's great. Skill is at the end of the battle that your Blaster Blade rear guards, specifically Blaster Blade, not the other variants of him. So, specifically, when Blaster Blade himself attack at the end of the battle, you counter blast one, return this to the deck because, you know, adding more crits to your deck isn't, you know, broken or anything. And restand Blaster Blade for double attack. Excuse the buddy fight reference. Next up, we're running eight crits. And since uh, I don't have uh, the alt mile crit, I'm running the vanilla crit that came in the legend deck because uh, just a slight plus one for the only two copies of alt mile didn't seem like dropping, you know, thirty dollars for. So I'm running foiled out crits. Yay, eight crits. Next up, we're running the reprint of Margul because this card looks great. So four copies of Margul. 
It's the original Margul, not the, any Margul clones. And it's Act, move to soul, give something, plus 3k. Fills up soul for Myriad. It's a draw trigger. And it's Margul. It's so, it's so every Royal Paladin draw is probably going to be a Margul. So thanks for like the fifth reprint of Margul, Bushy Road. And last but not least, we're running four copies of the heel trigger that's probably going to be replaced after that's going to be replaced after Fighter Collection comes out. So Elaine came back with a better art and a better name, and so now we just have four foiled heels in the deck. So that's nice. So yeah, heel trigger, G Guardians and stuff, and it's Elaine, so more uh, o blaster aesthetic. On to the G units. Uh, this deck isn't going to be super tricked out yet because I don't want to drop money on cards that I'm just going to take out when set 11 drops. So for right now, we're running two copies of Myriad Soul Saver. Uh, Myriad's skill is if you have a Blaster or Alfred Heart, you get this, when this unit attacks, you can Soul Blast 3 and give up to 5 rear guards 5k. It's really good with Lu, because if you attack with Lu and call it Blaster Blade, then attack a Myriad, you can give Blaster Blade an additional plus 5, making it a 17, 17k beat stick. Also, Myriad is probably my go-to first stride, because, you know, play is in power and the field can fill up easily with uh, Marin and Star Hope. Uh, it's a soul, it's a saver, so it procs off exceed skill. Yeah, that's why it's probably going to be the first stride. It's a pretty decent stride, to be in all honesty. Uh, I thought it was kind of underwhelming when I first saw the skill, but after testing it out, it's actually really, really decent. So if you're starting out with this deck, kind of like I am, uh, I would recommend running the two copies of Myriad. Uh, one copy of Legit Swords, uh, Legit Sword Dragon. This is a really funny card, not just for the skill, but for the fact that uh, I pulled it in the Try 3 box, as you guys might remember. And uh, I was still wishy-washy about trying to, if I wanted to build Royals or not. And uh, this card was going for a dollar, and then like a week later, it was $10. So I was like, oh, I'm just going to keep the card because I might build the deck. And now people are struggling to find Legit Swords. It's funny. Uh... Legit sword skill is pretty basic. It's if you have an Alfred or Blaster Heart, count plus one, search for a Swordsman of Light or Blaster and call to rear. We don't have Swordsman of Light, so we're probably only going to be calling Blaster Blade Spirit, Blaster Blade, and Bark Goal. And when you call it, it gets plus 2k. So if you call out, use this, you can call it Spirit, get plus 2k, it comes with 12k, and you can use Spirit skill to counter blast additionally, retire your opponent's front row. Uh, it's not a saver, so you can't use uh, Stride skill. But if you're low on field and you just want to start filling up stuff to get off abilities and retire your opponent's field mad crazy, uh, yeah, this is a good card to run. You, you, it, since you saw I was running two Myriads instead of just one, you could probably take out one for like a Goblade or something. I don't have a Goblade and I just don't want to go look for it and I'm pretty okay with the two savers as of right now. So, But yeah, you guys can pretty much go with those one ofs however you want. Next up, four copies of Deny... Ah, excuse me. Divine Knight uh, King's Alfred Holy Saver. So it's a saver, so it works off Exceed Stride skill. Uh, ex uh, Alfred skills GB2 Act. This is basically uh, the Murakumo whatever Buster card, but better, because they errated the Buster card to be dumb, and they didn't errate this one so they could let Royals be stupid and let Murakumo not have nice things. So this card is GB2 Act, kind of plus one, flip a copy of himself, and discard one card for your hand. Choose a card with Blaster Blade in its name, so it could be any of the Blaster Blades, and it gets plus 3k and uh, Twin Drive. And not just it had not just having it be the first battle of the turn, it's when it first when it attacks for the first time. So you could save it for your last attack, and it gains Twin Drive. And it's better than the Buster card, because in, the Buster card is just give it a Drive check, so you would obviously pick a Grade 3, because Grade 3s have Twin Drive, but this one just gives it Twin Drive, so now your Grade 2s have Twin Drive. It's a great card because, you know, who doesn't want five drive checks? It's great. You know, run Alfred Saver. Run four because it's probably going to be one of your winning conditions. Next up, I'm running two copies of uh, Aerial Deny Knight Alt Mile. Uh, really, really great card because this is what you're probably going to target Lou with this. And if your field's kind of empty, why not get a plus grade two for free and get extra attacks off? This card is really, really great. It's the reason why it's probably going for $40. As of right now, Bushrod, please reprint Alt Mile in the coming up sets. We need you to. So Alt Mile skill is on place. Flip itself. Uh, your front row gets 3k, and then if you have two or more face-up cards in your G zone, you could search for a grade 2 and give it plus 5k. It's great as your second stride if you want to. Really, really, really great card. 
Next up, since the Legend deck was so nice enough to give us these for free, I decided I'm just going to run it. Two copies of uh, Holy Dragon Religious Soul Saver. Uh, Religious Soul Saver is actually pretty decent, because if you ride Barkle and then ride a Blaster, and then ride Exceed, you can proc its skill off uh, any time during the game. And its skill is actually pretty decent, because it gains a crit. So it's on place, uh, kind of blast, uh, flip itself, and it's not, I believe it's not GB2 restricted. Pretty sure it isn't. And then uh, you give three units 5k, kind of like Myriad, but it's just a kind of blast and flip. And then uh, that's, that's if you have a blaster heart, but you're going to be on Exceed, so that's kind of given. And then if you have two cards of blaster in its soul, you gain a crit. So this was obviously originally designed for... Uh, What's his face? Majesty Lord Blaster, when you would have the two, two would have Blaster Blade and Blaster Dark in the soul, so you'd be like, yeah, that will be as the heart, and you have Blaster Blade and Blaster Dark in the soul for the two blasters in soul, and then you get off the skill. But now that we have Bark Goal and a lot of grade two Blaster Blades, this can still work. Um, typically, this is not your game finisher, but it's also like, hey, you know, this is an extra deck. We can tech stuff in. So we just basically run the two copies to do the skill once, just to gain the crit and apply pressure to our opponent. Uh, lastly, Seabreeze. It's Seabreeze. Your opponent's at grade 2. You want to stride, get the advantage, be be a dick to them. And finally, we're going to go into G units. Uh, running one copy of uh, Laser Guard Dragon, two copies of Isolt, and one copy of Dismal. So, typically, preferably, uh, I don't own two copies of Laser Guard. I'm not really, I don't really care enough to get another one for right now. But preferably, if you do own two Laser Guards, do two laser guards, one soul and one dismal. Reason why you'd want to do two laser guards, laser guards skill is super easy to get off most of the time. It just gains 5k if you have a grade 2 on the field, and then you can intercept with that grade 2 to make it a 36k defense. Uh, I would drop Isolt down to 1 because it's a counter blast for a skill, and if you don't want to use up too many of your counter blasts that you want to save for the next turn. Uh, Isolt is still really great because, you know, it can it gets 5k for each of your rear guards if you have a blaster or Alfred. Vanguard. Another reason why we're running Exceed because you know we want to have a Alfred Vanguard in case we don't see Exceed, so we can use our G guards. But uh, yeah, I'm honestly okay with this because half the time we G guard, uh, not really caring for the skill. We just need a 20. We just need a 15k shield just for the whatever. And lastly, Dismal because people really hate uh, letting your Blaster Blades stay on the field, or really hate letting your anything see on the field so we keep dismal because you know we just don't want people to get rid of our blaster blades uh can't wait for gancelot peace saver because i love gancelot with all my heart and also gancelot just gives blaster blade resist and gancelot's just a really really broken card so that was pretty much the deck profile hope you guys enjoyed it here's exceed for the last time and i'm actually having fun with this deck uh i used to play Liberators, when they first came out, that's as close as I got to a Blaster Blade deck. So, some nostalgia here, but not as much as other people who played the original MLB deck starting this game. Uh, yeah, that was the deck. Uh, we're gonna start doing Buddy Fight more soon, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, y'all have a great time. See ya.